In December 2007, L.A. Louvre exhibited a single piece of art in its main gallery, a monumental wooden sculpture by Richard Deacon, titled Dead Leg. Deacon worked with his longtime associate, Matthew Perry, on the complicated technical aspects of twisting and bending the oak into its lyrical shape. Let's listen to the artists explain their process in an interview with LACMA curator, Sarah Cochran, as we take a closer look at Dead Leg. Richard, it would seem to me that a lot of your work has been about bringing together I certain ideas that have been opposite. In other words, materials that don't necessarily work in the same way, such as metal and wood. So, I mean, this would seem a, a very uh, interesting sort of furthering of that kind of material conversation. The material has always seemed to be a component which has uh, the potential to carry meaning along with, uh, along with other things. And it's not particularly to do with craftsmanship or to do with that kind, that kind of valuing uh, of material. There's a, a delicate judgment to be made about the degree of finish you apply to, uh, you apply to something. Uh, material, the material can disappear if it's over-finished. Over uh, in order to make the work, there's an elaborate process of creating jigs that form the wood. Um, and they're all made out of steel. So once that's removed, the, the steel, I think, is reflected in the work anyway. Uh, so the, the idea of the, 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 the fact that it's punctuated too in terms of words and sentences that are throughout the form because of the stainless steel um, sequences. No, it seems to me that there's an articulation between the, the sort of torquing, which is sort of in parallel, and then the torquing where there are individual strands acting very individually. Uh, yes, except they were all one. These are made together as a group of four twisted together and then unpacked and reconfigured to give you, which gives these kind of rather extraordinary curves. So the, mm -hmm. the, there would be a way they could be repacked uh, to form a, uh, a oh. single kind of barley, sh it's a, a, a barley inch, sugar a twist. Four inch twist. A four oh. inch, but yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And they become a helix. They become? A helix. A helix. When I was playing with them initially, playing with the, the vocabulary, I think there was something like 10 different shapes. They, they seemed to be like um, little bits in parenthesis and sort of, I was working with the idea of rhythm and that when joined together they could make a sentence and, or even a song. Was the black patina applied to all of the wood and then stand it off wherever you wish to? The black is the tannin coming out of the oak, reacting with the steel, either former or strapping. strapping. Uh, so the hot, wet oak uh, reacts with the steel and, the and uh, produces this black. The initial idea was to do with a, a crossover. The area where that became, becomes interesting uh, is in the end part here. Um, and we both knew that the uh, uh, that actually if you ended it with a just made a, a loop, then it wasn't it wasn't interesting enough. Uh, it, it was a kind of closed system. The idea of the the two ends kind of meeting and either propagating or uh, or fusing bec became important. So uh, and we looked at this uh, in. Uh, in lots of different ways, so that, um, where four become eight, and then we looked at it whether the eight could become sixteen, and the sixteen become, and so you had instead of a uh, instead of it becoming a lump here, you had it sort of flaying out like a tail. But that that did um, that dress, didn't actually, that dress. didn't work. Making it a solid, mm -hmm. um, bringing it down to a solid, also. Uh, wasn't wasn't quite correct. So this square to round, I, you know, is um, really Matthew's um, proposition about it. And the, what happens is you have um, the the square, the f outside elements uh, are one side, and the inside element, which is the uh, this inside mm -hmm. cross uh, becomes be, uh, becomes the circle. Uh, so you have 
two different kinds of two different kinds of form feeding up into uh, two different tracks, a square track and a round track, and the uh, the the work the work itself as it goes along it's not continuous it's disjunctional the, it goes from cross to uh, uh, it goes from cross to square as it goes along uh, and that square remains constant but cross becomes circle so you have a kind of noughts and crosses uh, oh, really nice. uh, thing go, uh, goes <laughs> on through it equally the fact that it's hollow is the continuity through the work is a is a hollow space mm -hmm. uh, the, a, a, if, although it's a square space it's not a round space there is a there is a kind of implicit hollow continuity that becomes it sort of flexes in the uh, in the, in the middle here but the so this beginning and the end mm -hmm. uh, which, which is, is the relationship between uh, uh, square and square and circle and it's uh, be, to be able to articulate that connection between square, square to circle and for them both to become one at the end. So it's not just square to circle, but the, uh, the circle at the end encompasses the two, the, those two, uh, is, a kind of extra, is, an, is a fantastic refi and refined and articulate uh, expression of the, the way that the, the work goes. Um, at the same time, uh, it also is the kind of dragging leg or the kind of uh, encumbrance to to this very lyrical uh, to this very lyrical shape. The initial model had a very soft end. It had a very soft end. Well, it was it didn't go anywhere. It was pretty <laughs> awful. It sort of bounced all over the place and then came back to itself. And and I made six alternative ends. And one of them was a simple blank without an ending to it. And Richard said, well, then it could be a straight line. And it made a lot of sense because it, it gave it a kind of, well, it, it, it changed what was normal in these sort of pieces to something that could be exceptional. It also left an unanswered question, which is quite useful to making something this big because it takes so much time and effort that you at least have something to look forward to. You know, it could be a problem or, a, or, a, or something pleasurable or exciting. Okay, how long did it take? Two years. Two years altogether, yeah. Wow. Two years.